These days, there are just so many traps and addictions people can fall into. And if you continue with these seven habits listed in today's video, you will find a lot of your life to be getting a lot worse. And these aren't just the normal things we all think of, like porn and drugs, they're the things you would never have even considered. And I've dedicated myself to creating this list to help to show you what you need to stop doing. These are everyday things, and most of these you are doing. This video will provide you with some value on what habits to stop doing. The first one is over consuming content. Like most of us, we all enjoy like a good TikTok video. We like going on Instagram, watching the reels. I don't know, watching YouTube videos, watching Netflix if you're still into that. We all do, we all watch content, but it's hurting you. It's a waste of time. You don't get anything in return from doing it necessarily. You don't come back from a Netflix show with your life changed. Some people, there, there's arguments to this thing. People argue like it helps me relax, good to wind down with or something after the end of the day. Watching TV, it keeps me entertained. But my response to this is why would you want to be entertained in the first place? It doesn't add value to your life. Why have it? If you went for your life not being entertained, what would happen? Probably nothing, nothing would change. It doesn't matter if you're entertained or not. You could be spending that time doing something productive like working out. And these social media apps that I'm talking about, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, they're all, they bring in psychologists and create them to be as addictive as possible. They're, they're curated to create addiction. When you're scrolling on your phone, it simulates like a casino slot machine. You're like pulling the lever and you're anticipating that you'll get lucky and you'll find a cool video. That's what you're doing when you're scrolling on your phone. Pulling that slot machine lever, hoping you're gonna find something entertaining. It's designed to be addictive to get you to spend as much time as humanly possible on these apps. And it's, it's the reason for this, it's good for business. They want to make money off their apps, but it's not good for you. You have a life of your own, you have your own responsibilities, and you cannot be wasting all of your time on these apps consuming content. Start cutting out social media, Stop, refuse to consume content, and start improving yourself. Start, start getting muscles, start doing stuff in the real world, start growing and building yourself up as a man. Cut out all content consumption and start making, and start improving yourself. The next one on the list is caring too much. Most of us, we all care too much. <laughs> This is a common one. In three generations from now, everybody who knew you, who knew of your existence, they will all be dead. And we all stress out and worry about stuff like our friends. We worry about talking to a girl because we don't want to get embarrassed. We stress out about going to parties or something. We skip out on hanging out with our friends because we're worried about what they will think of us. Don't let people's opinions dictate your life. Don't sell yourself short just because you're afraid of a little embarrassment. People don't care as about you as much as you think. As much as you want to think people's attention is all focused on you, they don't really care that much about you. Do you think of it this way. You are, how much do you care about other people? How much do you care about what your friend's doing right now? How much do you care about that weird kid at school who dressed that way? How much do you care about all these people and think that's how much they care about you? Very little. You're not as important to everybody else as you think. So stop treating yourself that way. Unless you're some super popular person or whatever, something like Trump, someone with fame, no one's gonna pay attention to you, so you shouldn't be worrying about this stuff. No one's out to get you. They're all worried about themselves. So don't sell yourself short. So don't sell yourself short because you fear the risk of embarrassment. Live your life and don't let other people's opinions dictate it. The next one is eating sugar. Eating sugar and most of the foods these days have tons of sugar in them. I'm not talking about little grains of sugar. There's sugar in literally everything and sugar has literally no benefit. In fact, it, it's horrible for you. It makes you fat, it gives you diseases, it makes you look like shit. It's very difficult to stop eating sugar and cut out completely because everything we eat these days has sugar in it. Milk has sugar, your cereal has sugar, I don't know, burgers have sugar in them. The best thing you can do is just to limit it. Not over consuming stuff with sugar. Uh, eating more natural things. The closer to what it would be like in nature, necessarily the healthier it is. Like a potato, 
you find it potato in nature, it's laid down. Versus a bag of chips, it's very different from what a potato would be like when it's found in nature. So that's how you would measure it. Cut out sugar, cut out refined oils, all that bad stuff and start eating more natural, healthier foods. The next one on the list is criticizing others. It's okay to joke around with your friends and criticize them, give them shit about stuff, but actively criticizing people just for the heck of it or out of habit, just to be mean, is gonna tear you down in the long run. People resent you and they don't treat you as well when you're criticizing everybody, shouting random insults and hating on everybody. People aren't gonna like you as much. People aren't gonna wanna be around you. So you need to stop criticizing people and you need to start, well, you could start giving them constructive criticism, not giving them shit. The next one on the list is sleeping in. We can't disagree, we all need sleep. For a vast majority of people, they get their eight hours of sleep, they sleep enough, but they just sleep in, they stay in bed because they're lazy. They don't feel like getting up and they, wait till like 12 o'clock it's a bad habit for the reason that wastes your time you have a life you need to start improving yourself and you're wasting your time in bed when you you're wasting like the first six hours of your day they could be spent improving and bettering yourself and you're wasting these hours just sleeping start getting out of bed early stop just being in bed because you feel like tired your body it needs REM sleep the deep sleep where you're like dreaming that's the kind of sleep your body needs when you're just lightly sleeping in bed when you're lying in bed with your like eyes half open that's not really doing much for you all that's doing is just making you feel better because you don't have to get up stop being lazy start getting out of bed the next one is lying to yourself we all say stuff and we never do it we'll say i'm gonna go i'm gonna go work out today and then you skip out and you lie to somebody you say i'm gonna go i can go do this I'll get this done and you lie to yourself and you never do it you say today you say your new your new year's resolution you say I'm going to get a six pack and you never do it that's lying to yourself you need to stop this your word has to be iron willed you have to do everything you say you have to start being a man of your word unless you're a hundred percent going to do it you don't say it and you'll just be carefuler with your word and only say stuff if you're actually gonna do it and whenever you talk whenever you say something and you actually do it it's going to be like like a genie it always happens whatever you say it just wills into existence start being a man of your word and always doing exactly what you say you're going to do okay the next one on the list is social media and specifically the viewing people's stories viewing other people's lives what amazing lives other people have looking at people's stories you need to stop doing this and it's for the reason that everything that's on social media it's over filtered when you see a somebody's story it's just the best moment out of like the entire week they post that and then you compare it to your unfiltered life of just your normal life and this false version of just the best moments the best clips and you compare it to your shitty life and you feel horrible you feel like you're inadequate like everyone's better than you when you're most likely you guys are equals it just gives you a false like, perception but even even if they're just photos they're still going through the photos and selecting the best ones. It's gonna mess you up. It's it's gonna mess your judgment up and you're gonna always feel like you're losing. You're never gonna feel good after seeing other people's lives on social media. So stop doing that. Thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you found these seven tips helpful, please let me know. Let me know what your favorite tip was from this video. Uh, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video.